what's up everybody it's your boy lucky star please if you are new to this channel click the subscribe button and turn on the notification so that i up when i upload any video you'll be able to receive the notification and watch the video in today's video we'll be talking about cameroon cameroon is known as africa in miniature meaning a sample of everything across africa is found in cameroon like most countries in West Africa, Cameroon's road network, both paved and unpaved, are poorly maintained during the rainy season. Many roads are barely passable, even with four-wheel drive vehicles. Some of the six things you need to know about Cameroon include Number 6. The Poisonous The Poisonous Lake Nios, one thing Cameroon doesn't share with Africa, is a poisonous lake. Lake Nios is a crater lake in the northwest region of Cameroon, a natural dam of volcanic rocks. Content Today, the lake poses a threat due to its weakening natural world. Africa in miniature, Cameroon has a little bit of everything and a poison lake which Africa hasn't got. It is worth noting that some decades back this lake, poisonous lake news had caused a disaster which displaced and killed so many people in the northwest region of Cameroon and many displaced and hundreds left homeless. One of the things to take note about while traveling to Cameroon is the crime rate. How would you know if you were in West Africa if it was crime free? Like many of its neighbors, Cameroon is not free from crime. Don't flash your cash around and avoid dangerous areas and be a bit inconspicuous. Inconspicuous, you should have a trouble free stay. Robberies have been reported in most cities across the country. And it is worth noting that car taxis in Cameroon function like a bus, bus system and can be dangerous. On the fourth position, we have the political situation in Cameroon. Africa in miniature is also a pretty apt, apt description for the political situation in Cameroon. One of the most recent conflicts reported in Cameroon of recent is the current going war which started as an Anglophone crisis some few years back and has now escalated to a full-blown war in the two English-speaking regions of Cameroon with more than 3,000 recorded dead and more, much more hundred thousands displaced. If you intend traveling to Cameroon and to the English speaking regions, then you need to reconsider and be more of vigilant. And also, if you intend to visit the far north region, then you should report to the local authorities as the area is being rocked by terrorist attacks from the terrorist group Boko Haram, with many killed and much more displaced and the refugee crisis in the far north region from the Central African Republic and, and surrounding environment. And it is worth noting that just of recent some students were killed by unknown gunmen in one of the schools in Kumba, a small town in Cameroon. And many have been calling for an end to the anglophone crisis that is why you will see the hashtag of this video in anglophone crisis that's the trending hashtag as of date in Cameroon you can join the fight and many other African countries but in this video we focus more on Cameroon and in subsequent videos we'll have to also focus on other African countries to know how they are faring both political wise and many other ways. 
and it is worth noting that most of these problems could also be coming from the president who has been ruling the country for the past 38 years now. Since 1982, President Paul Bia has been ruling Cameroon as the sole president of the country, who took over from Amadou Ahijo, his predecessor, who died some years back. Unlike many other countries, in the east region of Cameroon, we also have a refugee crisis coming to from the center from the Central African Republic with the inflow of refugees from the country. On the third position we have getting out and here I mean traveling by land through the country. Overland travel out of Cameroon can be difficult. Travel by road north of Marwa is dangerous because of carjackers. However, rural police detachments are posted along the road between Marwa and the Chadian border. Most train tracks and the trains themselves are in very poor conditions. And so it is worth noting that the two main ways to travel up north and in most part of the country are traveling up north you can use the train or you travel by land and most of the times you can use the plane which is which doesn't get to every town of the far north region meaning you will probably travel by land and in other parts of the country you travel only by bus meanwhile on the second position we have bandits and bribes bandits attack Car accidents are most common outside major towns, especially at the borders with Chad and the Central African Republic. Security personnel too are not left out as they are known to always ask for bribes. You are encouraged not to pay bribes and to request that police officers provide a citation to be paid at the local court and it is worth noting too that while in Cameroon you should walk around with your passport because you could be harassed at any time to show proof of identification or proof of or proof of having valid documents to be in the country and so you could be asked at times to pay bribes so to avoid paying bribes always work around with the necessary documents you know will help you and also while in Cameroon be very careful the way you handle your gadgets especially your smartphones the way you handle money and many others on the first position we have road hazards and laws most of the roads in Cameroon are poorly maintained and very few traffic signs barely respected with most cars and trucks traveling at excessive speed creating a threat to other road traffic. Other road hazards include poorly maintained vehicles, unskilled, aggressive and intoxicated drivers. A total disregard to all roads rules by all drivers livestock and pedestrians on the road especially at night 